Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tomasz Rogala. On behalf of Professor Piotr Przystałka and Professor Andrzej Katunin and me, uh, I'm pleased to present some partial results of our research entitled Damage Classification in Composite Structures Based on X-ray Computed Tomography Scans Using Features Evaluation and Neural Networks. The uh, outline of the presentation is as follows. I'm going to talking about the motivation and source data from computed tomography images. Then I would like to discuss the method of describing damage with the use of features. Finally, I, would, I want to switch to classification problems and final results. Computed tomography is one of the many non-destructive techniques. Among others, this technique allow, obs, allows observing the effects of degradation. These images may provide information on damage presence, location and its type. This information can have great potential in supporting entity engineers, so we have defined the following goal for our research. The goal is to explore the applicability of classifiers to recognize the type of damage in CT scans. The recognition will be performed based on selected features of objects observed in the tomographic scans. Observed defects in the structure of the composite in the form of crack and lamination damage are called objects in this presentation. We have also identified some challenges, goal-related challenges. We are dealing with high spatial resolution images, noisy images. We know that incorporation of some knowledge into, into definitions of features may bring benefits. In order to be able to apply this method in practice, the attention was paid on the features that are invariable for at least scale, translation, rotation of the analyzed 3D scans. 3D scans. The source data for our analysis came from the results of the research of the article mentioned at the bottom of the slide. Data contains information on 55, uh, 54 specimens with overall 70,000 objects. The examined material was 40 layered epoxy based reinforced by unidirectional e glass fabric. Observed damage are the effect of fatigue testing with cycling loading performed uh, until the self heating temperature on the surface of the specimen reached a specific temperature value over the critical. The object had individual levels showing whether the object is, cracks, is a crack or delamination damage. And these uh, data are the results of the research in the below mentioned uh, article. In this slide, we have some examples of CT scan. A raw version is visible on the left side. On the right side, there is a CT scan after some initial preprocessing by removing tiny noises, tiny, uh, uh, tiny artifacts, and artifacts on the edges of the specimen. No special preprocessing methods were applied for this scan. Such images are the source data in our research. Uh, this slide shows selected objects representing different types of damage. On the left side, there is an object representing crack. In the middle, there is an example of the, the lamination. And on the right side, there is an object which is a result of, a result of high degradation process where cracks and the laminations objects intersect themselves. These objects are assigning the class that dominates in its structure. Each object in the form of a crack and the lamination damage were described by three-dimensional scalar features. The table consists names of features and definitions one of them is presented on the left side. For instance, for some sphericity feature type of measure, the quotient of the circumferential and inscribed uh, sphere diameters is calculated. We have observed during research that many definitions of morphological features were also available for two-dimensional images. Additionally, a large number of features usually lead to better conditioned numerical problems in case of classifier identification. In order to extend the number of analyzed features, we have, also, we have elaborated the transformation of changing uh, flat images uh, in changing of three dimensional of images into the flat images. Our idea of transformation is based on the use of reference equivalent objects and the measure of how much alike two objects 
uh, are I mean uh, the reference object and analyzed object. The presented objects of cracks usually take the form of a narrow and longitudinal objects. It suggests that the ellipsoid can be a good reference equivalent shape applied to describe such objects. Such an equivalent ellipsoid should have the same position and orientation as the analyzed object. It means that direction of principal axis of the ellipsoid correspond to the direction of the principal axis of an object and cross themselves in the same center as in the case of an object. The size represented by the length of semi-axis of the ellipsoids are values that it is possible to obtain the same moments of inertia in comparison to an object. So far we have discussed how the equivalent object is prepared. Now it will, it will be shown uh, how the transformation is performed. Firstly, a Boolean product between the equivalent ellipsoid and the object is made. Then uh, for the obtained shape, a, uh, a discretization is made uh, with the use of surface meshing operation. <clears throat> Next, the information about the position of each vertex, each node of the surface mesh is transformed into the two-dimensional space by means of the given formula. A characteristic feature of the new dimensional space is that the longitudinal elements uh, in the three-dimensional space are still longitudinal in the two-dimensional space. After some additional image processing, a binary image is obtained which is a two-dimensional image of a three-dimensional object. Uh, this slide shows examples of, uh, of the transformation of three-dimensional objects with different shapes. Uh, it shows subsequent operations starting from equivalent ellipsoid, Boolean product operation, meshing image, and finally obtaining two-dimensional binary image. Here we have one type of shape and here we have quite another type of, of shape, of analyzed object. Finally, for each two-dimensional image, additional 42 features were determined. As you can notice, there are features that are very simple in terms of calculations, like area, and such that are more computationally demanding, like hue moments. An example of the first hue moment definition is shown on the left side. The general concept of damage classification is proposed to be based on deep learning technique. Convolutional neural network was selected in the study to automatically recognize the type of damage based on selected features of objects observed on tomographic scans. Two-dimensional and three-dimensional features were normalized and transformed uh, in order to create the input image of the network. The neural model returns the label representing the damage type. The major properties and parameters shown in the table were used to propose on structure of convolutional neural network. In the result, there was no possible, uh, possibility to use the transfer learning method. Moreover, the proposed representation of the input pattern caused that the data augmentation technique was not possible to apply. The whole data set was divided into three, three subsets in the following proportions, 80% training patterns, 10% uh, validation patterns, 10% test patterns. Uh, the additional patterns were collected to verify the uh, final performance of the model. <coughs> An update rule based on the stochastic gradient descent with momentum was selected to, to train neural models. The final results of the training process strongly depends on the values of the behavioral parameters of the training algorithm. Therefore, several variants were examined and the best results were obtained for the given parameters. The table show, shows the results of classification with the use of deep neural networks and for different data subsets. For the three-dimensional data set and combined three-dimensional and two-dimensional uh, data set, the obtained results are satisfactory. True positive rate, in other words, the sensitivity of the classifier is satisfactory. The results for positive predictive value are very uh, satisfactory as well as, uh, as the accuracy. As you can see that the classifier is more sensitive to identify cracks. 
when considering only data set with two dimensional features as input, we can observe more false negative cases for the lamination. Uh, in our opinion, this requires the addition uh, of new equivalent objects which will be adequate representative for the lamination damages only. Some, some further research will be continued in this direction. Crack results based on a set of two dimensional features is satisfied, although contains a little bit more false uh, positive cases. To sum up, cracks and the lamination due to fatigue dominated by the self heating effect in computer tomography scans of polymeric composites composites can be automatically classified using feature-based descriptors and a deep learning technique with convolutional neural networks. An elaborated tool can be helpful as a decision supporting tool for NDT inspectors. Another approach with the transformation of two of three-dimensional volumetric objects into flat images was proposed. The results of classification of cracks indicate that these Two-dimensional features are also pretty informative and relevant. The selected features are invariant to at least rotation, scale or translation. The set was intentionally not reduced and tested for sensitivity before the classification process. Thank you very much for your attention.